Hi, happy Thursday. So um, hopefully my swollen red face isn't distracting. <laughs> I wanna tell you a little bit about my morning and not complain, as I try not to complain, but maybe just give you a little entertainment. So um, Eric and I are going to an awards banquet on Saturday. So I've got um, a pretty fancy dress for me and Eric's gonna dress up. So I thought I need to go get my nails done and I was gonna treat myself to a manicure and pedicure. And there are some things that I like to spend money on, don't get me wrong, but there are some things that I'm super cheap about. So I was debating between, ah, do I just go get another bottle of nail polish and paint my nails or what? Anyway, I decided to go get a manicure and pedicure. So I woke up this morning, went right when they opened, and as I'm sitting there, first I realized that I have not shaved my legs <laughs> in quite a while. It's really cold here in Missouri, so to my defense, I am not wearing shorts or anything. But when you go get a pedicure, you take your pants up to your knees, right? So first thing I did, I get there and I roll my pants up to my knees and she says, oh, <laughs> like shoot, she saw. So I was already super self-conscious about my hairy legs. Well, I'm sitting there, she finishes my pedicure and she's looking at my face. I'm like, oh no, what is she thinking? So she says, you need my eyebrows? Like, oh yeah, 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 I do, I need my eyebrows waxed. So I said, yes, please, will you do my eyebrows? Not a big deal. And I'm used to when I get my eyebrows done, my, um, I, I get real red and I get a little bit swollen and it usually lasts all day long. So, and I don't know if you can, See, I'm, I'm bright pink right now and a little bit swollen. So I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I need my eyebrows done. So she does my eyebrows. And then I can hear her say, oh, oh. And she stops. So I open my eyes and I look at her. Would you like me to do your mustache and your chin whiskers? I'm like, oh my gosh, I have a mustache and chin whiskers? Yes, of course I want you to get rid of those. I can't walk around town with a mustache and chin whiskers that I didn't even know about. Needless to say, <laughs> my whole face is swollen and red, but I don't have a mustache or chin whiskers anymore. So my manicure, pedicure, mustache, <laughs> chin whiskers, and eyebrows, $93. Which is why I never doing that again. <laughs> save the embarrassment, save my budget, and yeah, I'll just go get a bottle of nail polish next time. So now that I'm back home and super self conscious, I will be shaving my legs before I go to work today. But I'm whipping out <laughs> the Be Bold transfer with the floral frame and um, wanted to show just a, another technique I learned from another designer. So I've got a ton of colors out and I just grabbed um, one of my, I forget what these call, these are called, um, but you can get these from Chocotour. They just help, a stir stick maybe, I think is what it's called. Anyway, I just grabbed my stir stick, grabbed a bunch of colors so I'm using rainforest and peony and grape soda sage couture couture coral what else did I grab oh and bumblebee grab those colors and I just stuck a little bit on a paper plate and then I added water to it. So I spritzed some water to it because I want it a little bit more watered down than the regular paste. And I'm really just gonna take, and I already started a few, a little bit, you can't really see, but I'm just gonna grab some paint brushes that I've got here, all various sizes. I'm not an artist by any means, but I'm gonna grab some paint brushes and treat this like an adult coloring book 
or um, a painting because I want to give it, I'm going to bring it to life and give the floral frame some color. So I'll do some of it here live with you and then I'll probably finish up the rest and post an after picture. But I wanted to come live. This, we're doing so good, you guys. This is uh, day 13 of day 29 for a, just a little challenge that we challenged ourselves to do of live videos. I really like my pre-recorded videos, um, but I wanted to do some live videos so that I could interact with you guys. Um, <clears throat> so we're doing really good with that. Okay, let me grab. I am going to do some of these big flowers so that we can really see what that looks like. So again, I've just taken some paste out of the jar, stuck it on my paper plate, and then spritz some water in so that it's just a little, whoa, now my paintbrush is going flying, just so that it's a little less thick than what we normally use for um, when we're using our transfers. So I think I'm gonna use the grape soda for one of the big flowers because I think that'll really make it pop. And really I'm just gonna sit and paint in. I wanna um, leave some of the black outline because that's what I think is really cool about it. Um, but I'm just gonna fill in some of my areas here to give it some color and some dimension. So again, I'm just using the Chalkology paste, uh, just a different use for it, just kind of free forming it, free handing it. First is using a squeegee in the transfer. I'm gonna add some color. I love this transfer black and white, but I think it's gonna look so cute too with some color to it. So now that I shared my embarrassing morning with you guys, let me know. I don't know if I'm overreacting or if you guys go and get your nails done. I'm curious how often you do it. My budget, I just don't know that I can handle that much every few weeks or even once a month. I don't know, how often do you get a Manny and Petty? I used to get one like every two weeks religiously, but then I became an adult. <laughs> Have three kids, a life, full-time job, all that stuff, and I just, not to mention, I was there for an hour and 40 minutes. An hour and 40 minutes, and I was the only one there. So it's not like they were busy and I was waiting in line or anything. Can you guys see the purple color coming to life? I love the flexibility with Chalk Couture because a lot of the projects you've seen us do have been <clears throat> super simple where we're done in five, 10 minutes. Um, so I love that you can do your projects in five or 10 minutes or like this one, I'm going to spend some time sitting and coloring and looking and painting and so you can spend longer with it too. I'm trying to get the color in there but also keep the, um, the detail of the transfer when we did our black velvet on the transfer yesterday because I want that dimension in here. Because we're using 
Let me finish up the other half of this flower and then I'll flip it up and show you guys. For those of you that are just joining, I'm doing, I'm showing a different technique. We, I learned it from another designer. Um, doing the watercolor technique. Basically, I've taken my jars of the Chalkology paste and used one of my stir sticks and just scooped some out of the jar, stuck it on my paper plate here, added some extra water and stirred it up to make it just a little, little runnier than what we would use for the transfer. And I'm just grabbing some paint brushes and I'm gonna fill it in. And I'm gonna sit and paint the detail of the colors on my transfer. Get a little bit more in there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I just did, oh, I missed Miss this little section of the flower. There. So you can see I just went in there. And so I'm just going to continue adding color. Now I might start with, I can see that it's drying up a little bit. So I just have my little spritzer with water and I'm just gonna add a little bit of water as I go and stir it up. And then just keep painting. Let's go with the Couture Coral because that looks like a really pretty color. Let me grab this one, maybe, and I'll do this one over here. Yeah, I like this color. And you're coming in. Say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you I'm curious. We've had a lot of new followers this week. So you're always curious how you found us. If you've tried Chalk Couture before. If you have, I'd love to see the pieces that you've created. Feel free to add them to my page or my VIP group or tag me in it. <clears throat> For those of you that are just joining, we're doing part two of the Be Bold transfer where I'm showing you a watercolor technique, something different than what I normally do. So normally just use the transfer, put the transfer on and let the transfer do all of the detail in the design. Um, but this time I'm using all the same products, but I'm using a paintbrush to add in some detail and color to this floral frame. I love it so far. And even using the brush, you can add some 
texture and some personality to it. This couture coral is looking so good. I love it. So now I've added two colors to it and you can see that it's really starting to take shape. Let's add some on this side. Let's go with the rainforest. Let me grab myself another brush here. I'm gonna do rainforest on this side, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do rainforest on this side. And this flower that I'm doing has a lot of detail on it. So I wanna to try to save that and not cover that. I'm using two different types of green. I'm using the rainforest and the sage. So this rainforest is actually gonna go right next to some leaves with the sage that I did um, that I put on just a little bit before I went live. I cannot wait for warmer weather. I love the back patio because we always put um, flowers up. So I cannot wait to start seeing some color and flowers. And it sounds really weird, but I enjoy mowing my grass. So I cannot wait to get back outside mowing the grass. After I finish the entire piece, I'll make sure I post an after picture and you can tell me what you like better, the black and white, the classic look of the black and white, how we left it last night, or if you like the technique with, the, with all the colors. I'm usually pretty simple. You can tell in my wardrobe, in my closet, I've got a lot of solid colors, a lot of black. Um, but I'm really liking these colors. What do you think about that? 
Can you see how it's starting to take shape? Yeah. All right. I am going to sit and finish this up. I'm gonna make some lunch and just sit and spend, I still have a couple hours before I have to go to work, so I'm just gonna sit here and spend the rest of my time filling this in and then I will show you the finished product. If you have any questions about the process, do you have any requests on videos that you'd like to see the rest of the month? I have two more shipments coming. I'm super excited. But if you have any requests for any projects that you want to see or design ideas, um, let me know. If I don't have a video for it or the um, supplies on hand, then I can reach out to another designer and share that information with you. So, all right. See you guys tomorrow.